masterpieces. Stories from the world's greatest operas and ballets. Welcome to the story of the ballet Swan Lake, which is all about Prince Siegfried and his love for the Swan Princess Odette. You will also get to enjoy some of the beautiful music from this very famous ballet, which was written by the Russian composer Pyotr Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky is probably best known for writing operas and ballets, and his three famous fairy tale ballets are still performed all around the world today. The Sleeping Beauty, The Nutcracker, and Swan Lake. Swan Lake was first performed in Russia by the Baoshoi Ballet. Swan Lake has everything you'd expect to hear in a fairy tale. An enchanted princess, a wicked magician, a handsome prince, and an evil spell which can only be broken when the heroine finds true love. The setting of this tale is a castle on the edge of a deep, dark forest. And in the middle of the forest lies a hidden clearing in which can be found the eerie waters of the mysterious Swan Lake. In a kingdom far, far away lived a princess and her son, Prince Siegfried. It was Prince Siegfried's 21st birthday. This was a very important birthday because it meant that the prince was now old enough to rule the kingdom in place of his mother. It also meant that it was time for Siegfried to choose himself a bride. The problem was that the prince really wasn't ready to settle down yet, and his mother wasn't happy about it. My dearest Siegfried, let me look at you. I can't believe you're all grown up at last. Twenty-one! Which means, my son, that it's time for you to take life a bit more seriously. Soon you'll be crowned king of this land, and every king needs a queen at his side. I know, mother. And I do see the need for a bride at some point. But can't I have a bit more time? I don't want to marry anyone right now. Siegfried, I understand. I was young once myself. But you have royal duties now, and they must come first. Time is running out, and I must insist that you find a bride very soon. Or I'll... Or you'll what? Or I'll choose a bride for you. Mother! I mean it. Now, it's your official 21st birthday ball tomorrow evening, and I have personally invited six possible brides for you. All you need to do is choose one of them. I shall be carrying a bouquet of roses, and you will take a single rose from it and present it to the lady you wish to marry. That night, there was a birthday feast at the palace for Siegfried's closest friends. There was plenty of eating and drinking and dancing, and the noisy guests had a wonderful time. Prince Siegfried's best friend, Benno, was a particularly energetic dancer. He hardly sat down all evening.
The party ended, and as the last guests went home, Siegfried and Benno stood in the palace courtyard, taking a moment to enjoy the peaceful summer night. Then all of a sudden, they saw a flock of twelve magnificent swans flying across the sky towards them. Moonlight shone on their sleek white feathers, and the air was filled with the sound of their flapping wings and their mournful cries. Siegfried was entranced by the beautiful sight. But all Benno saw was the chance for a bit of target practice. He dashed off to borrow two crossbows from the guards at the palace gates and came running back. Here, Siegfried, I brought you a bow. I bet we still got time to shoot down at least one of them. But the prince wasn't listening to his friend. He just stood silently, gazing up in wonder at the beautiful swans, who were now passing right overhead. No, Benno, wait. Aren't they beautiful? Hurry up! Look, you haven't even set your arrow right. Quick, they're getting away! Benno lifted his crossbow and aimed it at the flock. Reluctantly, Prince Siegfried raised his own bow and aimed his arrow at the biggest and most beautiful swan. But, just a moment, what was that? Upon the head of the beautiful swan, he thought he could see something glittering and flashing in the moonlight. Siegfried lowered his bow. It looked to him like the swan was wearing a beautiful golden crown.